another anime that you guys have been begging me to react to. This one is called Roshidere or something like called Alia Sometimes Hide Your Feelings in Russian. I think the waifu in this show is just actually Russian and she's gonna speak Russian. There's a lot of memes with like I guess Russian stuff but I guess but hey let's check it out. <laughs> Seirei Academy. <laughs> Classic Japanese high school setting where they glaze the shit out of a foreign exchange student because they're white. <laughs> okay, she speaks Japanese. She's pretty bossy. She's pretty picky. Is that the Russian coming out of it? Aria. She got the main character protagonist spot. <laughs> Actual Russian. So, like, obviously, you can't be fucking around with an anime like this. Like, you know how they try to speak English sometimes? And it's just, like, you know, the worst. It's, it's just English. But they're not fucking around with this, right? They're not going to have really bad Russian. It's an actual Russian speaker, yeah? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Babushka. <laughs> Vodka. So like, what, the whole premise is, so these rom-com shows, usually a girl that's super glazed at the school because she's the most popular, the most beautiful, whatnot, focuses on the main character who is a guy who has like absolutely nothing going on for them because that is like the target demographic, right? Who watches these rom-coms? You're going to have a weak male character who does fucking nothing with his life, but the girl is so peak and, you know, reaches out because they're trying to hit a specific audience. Every fucking rom-com recently is doing that. But maybe the main character is not like that. But my point is, the girl though, so every time she shows interest, she's going to speak in Russian and say things that's like, oh my god, he's kind of cute. I kind of like him. And then for us to kind of like guess what's going on and then the main character's not going to be aware of what's happening. Toes. Russian feet. <laughs> Guys, toes, but Russian. What do you think? Not just any toes. Russian toes. <laughs> The only Russian I really know is like Shikablut or something. Shikablut. How do you say Shikablut or something, right? That's the only swear word I kind of know. Is it Sukablut? Is, is it Suka? <laughs> Sukablut or something. <laughs> okay. I mean, the title literally says it, right? Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. So whenever she feels like she wants to say something affectionate, she's going to speak in Russian so the main character doesn't know. But hey, we got another trailer, actually. We got number two. Okay, here we go. Cap. So when she speaks Japanese, she's so cold on him. But when she speaks Russian... She's all dere dere. Russian dere. It, Russian de No, no, that's not really correct. Because, like, you know, soon dere, the soon is like being all bitchy and fucking, you know, fucking, I don't know, not nasty, but then the dere is like the soft part, right? But I, I guess the main character also understands Russian a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> look, 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 what does it say? What does it say? A lazy student who always is unmotivated. Literally has nothing going on for him. Just, just loser, no goals, broke, not smart, you know, unathletic. But usually the main characters in these rom-com shows are actually really good looking, right? They're all EK men with the resume of a fucking neat. <laughs> So the girl thinks that he doesn't understand Russian? 
but the guy does, does he keep it a secret? So every time she's gonna say some shit that she might not want him to hear, but she'll say it in Russian. And he'll be like, I can hear that, but he doesn't like confront her. Is, is that it? Okay. <laughs> Oh, here's the cock. Here's the is, is she the childhood friend? <laughs> is she the childhood friend that's gonna fucking lose? What is she, bro? What is she? <laughs> yeah, she's the childhood fucking friend. <laughs> All my answers will get answered if I just stop pausing, but honestly, that's where the content comes from. So she's gonna make she pretty much exists to lose and get cucked, and for Aria to kind of get jealous, right? Pretty cheeky. Is she Russian too? What the fuck kind of middle name is that? Maria Mikhailovna Kujo. Are they all Russian? I mean, if you look at the names too, they come in Russian captions, right? This girl here too. Russian, but I, 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 this girl definitely is, but I don't think the child of friend is. Child of friend is probably Japanese, and the Russian caption is just like their special aesthetic because, you know, this is a Russian waifu, you know, anime, right? Oh? That's some Giga Chat moment from the main character? So, I wonder, like, what the main character does to kind of pull her out of her shell. Because it seems like there might be some kind of insecurities or things that she's worried about. And the main character is going to be a Giga Chat and be like, you know what? You can be yourself. I'll be with you. And it's going to be like that. So, very interesting premise, right? It's like a waifu, but it's... Russian and that's the entire premise a guy that can kind of hear understand Russian and a girl that only speaks Russian whenever she wants to be a little bit dere dere I guess it would be a fun time and again I will check these enemies out and the only thing that matters is that you guys actually give a fuck and will watch it and if you do I can promise you we can have a fun time with this but a lot of times, you know, people kind of check out an anime for the first couple episodes because of the bait, right? The hook of this is, oh my god, Russian girl. But like, how long is that appeal going to last? The honeymoon phase usually doesn't last beyond like three or four episodes, right? But hey, if it's actually pretty decent, if you guys are down to watch, I'm down to watch it, okay?